Hello all this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So in this tutorial I am going to show you how we can make this particular model uh, in surface modeling. So this is a bottle. So I have made a lot of bottle design using a surface model. So we can go to particular playlist and uh, check out all the models how we have done. So in this video I am going to show you this model. So let's get started with this modeling. So now what I am going to do is I am just go to new file here. And here I am going to select a model and uh, let us go to model here and this is a model and uh, let us keep it as a mm okay so now uh, you can see here this is our coordinate system so now let me go to a sketcher environment on this particular plane and here i'm going to create one polygon so let us go to menu insert and uh, curves and here you can see polygon so i'm going to create a polygon with a five edges so it will have five edges and the radius will be 75 okay and the rotation let us keep it as a zero okay so this is a simple you know um, polygon with a five, five edges okay so let me finish the sketch and now we need to create an um, plane here so let us go to datum plane with a distance of 600 mm okay so let us give 600 mm and you can just click okay so now I'm going to create a one more sketch on this particular plane now. So let's go to sketcher environment on this plane and I'll just click OK. So here again I'm going to do one more uh, so polygon. So what I'm going to do is I'll hit P. So now we can see this is a five edges and from here I'm going to draw it and this is going to be 120 and rotation is zero okay so you can see here two you know polygons i have created one is with a 75 radius and the other one is with 120 radius so now let me finish this sketch and now we need to you know uh, create a surface here between these two polygons so now for that what i'm going to do is i'll just go to surface modeling and through curves and here we are going to select this should be keep it as zero g0 and this is my first curve okay and now i'll just select the second curve as this one okay so now you can see here this is a solid so we need to change it to sheet okay and you can just switch on this preserve shape and now that is done you can just click ok so now again i want to you know create one more plane here so let me go to datum plane with 100 mm distance so here is my reference plane and 100 mm is the distance so here is my plane so again on this plane i'm going to create uh, two circles so let me go into uh, sketcher environment on this plane and here i want to create two circles with 130 diameter and 80 diameter so circle 130 and 80 okay so let me finish the sketch so now i'm going to make a through curves again uh, with uh, this circle and whatever the polygon we have here so let me go to through curves here okay and i'm going to select this connected curve okay and then the second set will be this it should be in the reverse direction so i'm going to make it as a reverse direction and this should be a sheet and now you can see here our the edges will be going away here so we need to modify these edges so for that what you can do is you can just go to here alignment and in the alignment by points okay so once you give that and uh, just take a top view and try to make these points nearby whatever the points we have on the polygon okay okay so now everything is looking good so now what i can do is i'll just click 
okay okay so now uh, what i can do is i'll just make an extrude here so whatever this small circle we have i'm going to make an extrude so this is around 60 degree 60 mm and it should be none and it should be a solid uh, sheet body so we are going to make it as a sheet and i'll just click ok and you can see here between these two there will be a uh, gap here so how we are going to fill that gap so first we'll just go to fill so menu insert and surface and here is the fill surface so i'm going to select this now it is completely filled and we need to remove the material from this inside so for that trim sheet and i'm going to select this by using the boundary as this and it should be discarded so you can just click ok so why i have selected the discarded you can just go to my through curves uh, you know tutorial so you will come to know so now i'm going to create a point in the bottom uh, with the 10 mm as a distance so i'll just go to point here sorry in the curves you can select the point and along z direction you can see along z direction i need 10 mm of uh, distance so 10 mm and you can just click ok so why i have created this point so i'm going to show you now so i want to create a through curves from this polygon to that point so let me go to surface and go to through curves here and i'm going to select this particular edge and my second set will be this point okay so once it is selected you can just go to sheet here and everything is as it is you can just click okay so now you can see here the bottom side is completely filled so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to see all the sheets you can see every every sheet is a single single feature here so i wanted to see them so go to see command and select any of the command uh, sorry any of the surface and then select all the surfaces and you can just click ok so this is going to be a sieved one so now it is completely sieved so i don't want this uh, plane i will just hide this okay so now uh, once the sieve is done uh, we can able to provide a edge blend so before that uh, if this is a different sheet and this is a different sheet you cannot able to provide a edge blend so now we have sieved everything is in a single sheet now so now we can be able to provide a edge blend so now what i'm going to do is i'll just go to edge blend here and try to give edge blend one by one so this is going to be 8 mm and i'll just click apply okay and then this is going to be 20 mm okay so click apply and whatever this edges let us select all these edges so this is going to be 55 mm so i'll just click apply and then we have these edges So these are just will are 20 mm so let us hit 20 mm and start selecting this okay so yeah 20 mm is here now so now i'm just going to click click okay okay so let us hit ctrl w and hide all the sketches so these sketches are not required now and now again in the last we have one more edge blend here in the bottom side so this is going to be 8.5 mm so just go to edge blend and select this particular edge which is of 8.5 mm okay you can select all the edges so that it will look better okay yeah so now this is done and uh, now as you can see here we are left with only 
the thread over here so we are going to create a thread by using some uh, helix method so let us go to and let us create a helix here so that uh, we have a guide curve so for that i'll just go to menu insert and here in the inside the curves you can see helix so here i'm going to select this particular center point and let us move it a little bit upward okay so 6 mm okay 10 mm i have moved upward and you can see this is the helix and the helix uh, you know values will be you can see here 80 mm diameter so you can see here this is the 80 mm which we have created so that is why it is 80 mm and uh, this is uh, you know pitch is 10 mm and end limit is 27 mm okay so that's all we have here you can just click okay so this on this helix i'm going to create a you know semicircle over here on this point so that we can make a sweep along this guide curve so for that what i'm going to do is i'll just create a plane here so this is my plane and i'll just click ok and on that plane i'm going to create a sketch so let me click ok and here now what i'm going to do is i'm just go to here and i'll just draw a circle here first i will just draw a circle with a 4 mm of diameter and now let us uh, trim this inside so inside i'm going to trim it okay so we need only this arc i'm going to finish the sketch so now we are going to sweep this along this guide curve so for that i'm going to go to surface model and swept here i'm going to select uh, this is my section and my guide curve will be this and also i can see here preserve shape should be on and then orientation will be always it will be fixed but this time we are going to make it as a face normal and we are going to select this face so it will take some time to update so let us wait so now you can see here our face is developed so now we can just click ok so ok so once this is done uh, i'm going to create a lines here in order to create a bounded plane so what i'm going to do is i'll just go to file insert curve and line so here i'm going to create a line so we need to close this for that i need to create a line first so this side uh, the line is created in the similar way i'm going to create a line on this side as well okay so these are the two lines and now let me go to bounded plane insert surface and bounded plane so here i'm going to select these two curves and in this side also i'm going to make the same way okay so now you can see here this sheet is different this sheet is different and also the end sheet is also different so i'm going to see that go to surface and see it select this this and this okay so just click okay so i don't want this i'll just hide this okay so now we need to trim this extra whatever the sheet we have so for that i'll just go to trim sheet and i'm going to select this sheet and here i'm going to select this is my boundary and uh, now we need to discard you can just click okay so similarly i have to you know uh, trim this sheet also so i'll just go to trim sheet here and i'm going to select this sheet and my boundary will be this time this is the my boundary okay and it should be keep and you can just click ok so you can see here our profile is done okay so here uh, by the end we can just create some edge blends so for that uh, you know to create an edge blends here you need to sieve this body with uh, this body so for that i'll just go to sieve here this body should be sieved with this okay so let me go to edge blend here and uh, let us provide an edge blend here this one and okay let us reduce this value okay on this one 
so both said it should be same so let us give some more value here okay so this is fine so we can just click okay and also now what i'm going to do is i'll just give a edge blend for this also okay so let us keep it as 1 mm and you can just click okay okay so now uh, our model is done so you can see here bottom side we have this uh, uh, profile and uh, top side we have all these profiles so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, it is already saved everything it is saved so now we need to provide a thickness for this so go to thicken and select this particular uh, body and now you can see here it is 1 mm and it is outside so you can just click ok so once it is done you can see here there is a surface which is already you know visible so you can just hit ctrl w and uh, switch off this facet bodies and sheet bodies ok so now this is going to be our uh, solid body ok so this is how we can make this particular uh, model guys so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below I will try to answer. Thank you guys.